Hello everyone and welcome back. We are continuing to play more best of three. I've been enjoying the format and I'm getting to play a deck that I don't normally get to play because of the way that best of one has been catered right now. It's way too fast and it's way too aggressive for domain to kind of slot in and you're like, well, Brick, blue white control is very popular in best of one. They play Jace and they mill us. One of our soft spots is trying to play an Atraxa getting it sunfall they play jace mills for 15 and we just end up drawing way too many cards we end up taking too many lands out of our deck and we get very close to just getting double jace milled very often or if we lose half our library and then jace comes down and mills us and it's just so hard for us to keep up with that but we have some spice in this list we have the four bean stocks this card number goes anywhere between two and four but it's four here we have the spelunking one of my favorite cards i'm so happy i get to play with this card today um, Topiary Stomper was cool, but we have one Sneaky and Medane's Recruiter. This is a challenge winning deck list. It went nine and one is what it ended up going. I think it won the challenge. Either way, nine and one in a challenge. Good day. Um, but my biggest problem about Domain in the past is just playing out our stuff and then passing and hoping it's there on our turn. But we'll get to see today how strong and Medane's Recruiter can truly be whenever we're playing this making five three threes and giving them haste to one shot our opponent playing an atraxa in the air playing an emidanes and getting in there and hitting for a ton in the air it's so nice because so often we put our opponent in archangel of wrath's range and that's just great for us so outside of that we're gonna go ahead and hop into the games if you want the sideboard here it is real quick but it'll be in the description below and I hope you all enjoy the matches we have today. And let's just go ahead and hop right in. Can't keep it, Sam. If I had a green, I would consider it, but. Sure. This is like guaranteed, though, right? Splunking like not, but Splunking is so good. I'm going to keep like this. What we got, opponent? Are you a Convoke player? Very cool. Oh, timer shows up and they immediately start playing. Wild. Wild how that works. I love Arena. I love the players on this, on this platform. They're so nice. And I'm playing against mill combo. Wait. Or not even mill combo, just this like squirming emergence combo deck. I have like no answer to this. Dinosaur, I guess. I have to go get a planes and then ley line binding like this founding, I suppose. I have no idea. I feel like we're just we're just super dead for this. Um, and we need a plane, right? Yeah. Oh, we need the planes to be on tap. Uh, does this fit our description? I think so. Right? No, we won't have a blue. They don't have anything in here. They actually have to find something. So I'm going to go ahead and play this Spelunking. And I'm going to get this Jetmere Garden in play. Even though I'm missing the line Binding. But right now, again, they don't have anything. Now, they could hit something off this and Squirming Emergence it. And then just, I don't know, slam me. They let them all go, though. Sure. Thus far, Nothing. But they're almost 20 cards deep, so unless they're in their hand, they're going to find some eventually. Problem is, if it's a card with an ETB, there's not a whole lot I can do to stop them. This is... Okay. Uh-huh. Take a card out of their yard because they have really like nothing else to do. Yeah, nothing else would make sense. I mean, realistically, Titan of Industry, not that bad. Like we definitely could be worse. Sure. Like that could have been way worse for us, to be honest with you. 
Uh, tracks are loaded up. I will play a swamp. I will play a topiary stomper. And I will go get a blue source. Now I have leyline binding available. Sure. They're really just looking for another squirming at this point. They have a couple cards on the top. Been two, they keep the third. I don't know what that means. Sure. One. That one. Well, I mean, we have chances now. One, two, three, and four. There's two portal to Frexes. Those are pretty good. Oh boy. And here becomes one of the issues, right? Is like, I can't do anything to stop this. Um, play this. Let's name Angel. But let us play Beanstalk first. All right. Well, we have plays. We're just going to keep ripping stuff out. So when they bring back the portal to Phyrexia, it's not that big of a deal. And then I can attract and hopefully find a Leyline Binding to get rid of it. I'm losing my creature anyway, so I'm going to attack. If they block, I think it's a mistake, but yeah, they, they don't. So now they're squirming. They bring back portal. Hope it's enough, I think. There's way worse cards, I think, that we'd have to deal with, but right now I think we're looking pretty solid. Portal, sure. I lose my Stomper and that's it. They play another land. What do you got? Or sure. What can this even bring back right now? I might not even worry about it. It can bring back a pickpocket, a topiary Stomper. I mean, I'm gonna play this. Draw off Beanstalk. Now we're gonna go looking. I gotta find Leyline Binding. I missed. No way, dude. Ugh. It's all downhill from here. Cause now they're gonna get to return my Atraxa. So I guess this gotta be Sunfall. Invasion. Grabbing all these. I'm just gonna build up. They're gonna return my attracts. Uh. Oh my God, what a hit. You couldn't have been, well, we could have been any luckier than that, Jesus. <laughs> That's insane. I, I missed on the 10. I looked at 10 and missed. And the draw off of playing my Spelunking hit my Leyline Binding and we had exactly the Triome with white in it to exile it. That's absurd. But we'll take it. I'm at like 33. We have a Besage you to blow up something. Uncounterable angel here. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do here. I feel like I'm just supposed to double face here, but I could hit this. It is a land, but it does the same because that's take three damage if they want to remove that. I think it's just some otherworldly gazes and stuff here is really what they're trying to do. Not really looking to beat stock again, but then I can also get in for four. So I get to do both. I accomplish the same goal. Back. Very weird. You see them kind of reanimate a couple of times, but we are the one match. It's kind of tough for them to deal with. 
I have nothing really to worry about, especially considering these are going to enter untapped. Very cool. If they blow up my leyline binding with the portal in it, I can just besage you their portal. Okay. That kind of works. I was not ready for them to have besage you. They didn't mill it. Hmm. Very cool. I mean, it just is what it is. Besage you. I would like to. I would like to search. Thank you. We'll keep thinning. It'll be fine. So it's gonna be blow up, probably make a four four. If I had to guess. But again, they're in top deck mode too. They put a shield counter. I actually can't believe that. Bruh. Arena. Oh, this is the sack. I thought it skipped like to their upkeep and this was putting in I was like arena. We cannot do that. <laughs> like there's no way that that is a reasonable decision to happen. Uh, we're gonna lose our creatures. Um, they're gonna have 11 damage. Nit shield counter only counts as destroy, right? Or dealt damage. Yeah, so Sunfall is valid here. And my lord, do we have the mana? They put in the tracks in the yard, but portal's gone. Otherworldly gaze. Sure. I can't believe you. they probably don't have a way to make a treasure, right? Unsure. Two? Is this squirming? What is this? What is, what is this card? What do you have? Oh, discard a card? I will discard a beanstalk. Sure. you got I've got nothing I'm a scared boy this emergence and even if we start a tracks of gaming we're just gonna get to the point that we mill them I think yeah so a portal comes in that happens the only problem for them is the fact that like here comes my tracks if I do find another ley line binding oh I meant the sunfall first <laughs> whatever it'll be fine it's all fine uh, binding, herd migration to make a ton of creatures. We'll take its battle as well. We'll take another triumph. Actually, this battle doesn't even grab anything. Uh, we'll take Archangel here. Or we'll take Archangel here. Sure. Play on tap source. Definitely meant to Sunfall and then play Traxa, but it's okay. It's okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. We'll play line. Oh my god, did they just die? I think they just died. Uh, one, two, three. Oh my god, they, they actually just died. That's insane. That's why we play the card. Oh, I guess this gets haste as well. So we get them. Wild. What a crazy, what a crazy card. They're like, why is Recruiter into that? And I'm like, I don't know. I want to... It won the challenge, man. But all right, what do we have here? Well, these come in. These come in. What do we what do we need to take out? Archangels are actually really bad in this matchup. They're good, but they're also bad. Um, Portofrex is an artifact. Realistically, I think we just have to be able to exile their yard at instant speed or have a negate. I don't think we can like uh bean socks can go to two. Spelunking can kind of fit that role. I like Spelunking a lot. I just like playing with Spelunking. I think the Archangels can come out. They have value, but I just don't know if they're way more important than what we have. Emperors are like fine, but not great here. Lockdown's not good. I mean, I don't even mind these Destroy Evils. I like Recruiter actually, just because of the fact that against this deck, we do sometimes need to just one, two punch them. What if we're like trim, trim, bring these in too? Sure. Come on. Sure. 
I guess the tracks it goes. Start off immediately. They could have the rests and stuff, so us getting this beaten stock down on turn two will be huge. Could be a pilfer as well. Pounding. Can still be either of those options. Oh, they're just all in right now. Sure. I mean, we have landline bindings. It is a thing we have. All right. And bindings will be for one mana next turn. And we have two of them up. So, as you can see, the rest, the rest, hey, land. Man, that's tough. I'd love to play Splunking here, but then it puts down my white mana. Like... It just doesn't work, so we have to pass here doing this. Do I let them duress me for free? I think it's fine. Like, my hand is so good against the rest right now. I guess I kind of... We kind of see based on what this does. All right. No squirming in there right now. Full control. Just in case they put a squirming on, like, a squirming in there plus something else. Ooh, it might just be straight up they have it in hand. And then they're probably going to duress me, which, like, the reason I don't care about the rest with my hand currently is because, one, I have so many ley line bindings. But, two, if I get rid of their founding and then they blow up my ley line binding, they get to just reset their founding in the third path because it's an ETB as you choose, I'm pretty sure. Um, enter the... Yeah, you get to choose which one you want. Uh, sure. Third dress in a row. Made me feel great. I would love it. I don't care about that. Belonging. This in. Put this in. And now we're chilling. And we'll see. What do you got? Nothing so far. Maybe they just don't have the squirming in hand. They do have a big card in their yard. I want to draw off that. I don't think so. I think I just let that go. No reason to really overcommit there. I think. Play a topiary stumper. Source. Island. Fortis. Now these can actually attack. I can get hit with the portal to Frexia at any point though. So that's kind of scary. But same time. I do what we gotta do. Did I make sure I can play into tracks right here, by the way? White, black, red. All right, it doesn't even play red. So blue, green, white, uh, black. Yeah, we're good. Red is not and attracts us colors. Yeah. Any triumphs from here on out, by the way, that we draw, we're probably going to cycle. We have to. What do we got, opponent? We're going for it. We think Titan of Industry is worth it. Or do we third pass? Titan must be worth it. Blowing up Spelunking make 4-4? Four, four? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight manas. I can, I can afford to wait. Let's take a look. You son of a gun. You came one turn too late. Negate. Sure. Sure. 
Nope. Let's see. So weird. Let's flash this in. Let's exile target players. Graveyard. That's you. Then we'll block here. I know like it would make sense to block this, but this absorbs more life total and breaks that. Oh, very nice. Evasion. Do you have another negate in hand? No. Okay. Uh, green planes. This will attack the invasion. Flip it. Will they block? Okay. Sweet. Then I will double block the Titan. They can't squirming it back. Hmm. Very interesting. We're going to cycle now. I thought about not cycling, but I think it's too important to do it. Oh, very nice. Don't worry. If they portal me, I'm fine. I completely dead if I get portaled. Which one would you like? Oh no! You're so smart. It hurts my soul. I don't like that. Can't negate this one though. Oh, deck thinning. Deck thinning. We're working on it. We're working on it. I could double attack this to flip it, but maybe they would block, but who knows? I think. A stalemate right now is in our favor. Didn't negate this one either. Hey, very cool. I will take another one. I'll take. I would say I feel like a resolve the tracks is going to be tough because I'm going to take another tracks. So I'm going to take a cavern and name Angel. So even if they have a counter spell, they get it. I'm not going to lie. I assumed we were just going to lose this matchup because I didn't imagine it could be that great for us, but. I don't think the things they were animated were that were that good. So we also got to do the one shot cannon. So that was pretty crazy. My opponent's choice. Uh, I choose to keep. I think. I have a land binding is not active right away, but I don't mind this hand. We play a lot of lands. We should hit, and we do. So. This come in, this comes in, this comes in, this comes in. Especially if we hit a land, this definitely comes in. Looks like blue white potentially here. Normally we can kind of go over the top, especially with like a card like Cavern. Place Spelunking, a card that just generates value. They should probably counter this, but I'm not going, I'm not going to hold their hand and tell them what they need to do. Sure. Sounds great to me. All right. Nothing. I didn't have like a deduce or something or even a mending or anything of the matter. Um, we do not have a land. Oh, they let that go too. Okay. Um, Angel. Now Beanstalk. Beanstalk's not resolving, right? I mean, he only played like four counter spells. Up to six. Wow, Beanstalk does resolve. Okay. Angel, Angel. Good name Dino, but if Topiary Stomper is what they're worried about, then I probably have a problem. Not them. Oh, memory delusion. Sure. All fine. They have farewell. They're just waiting to farewell me. That could be it. Go to ruin. Sure. I kind of want. I kind of want to attract it here. Just like load up because I have a lot of cards that are bad. Like Sunfall's not good. We're gonna get so many cards here. Mining's actually good. Uh, yeah. Hmm, I guess I could have named this, right? At some point. Invasion. 
land. Like other bindings probably fine. Sunfall is just like not worth grabbing because I'm going to discard Sunfall in my hand. I have to discard two here. Sure. Mm-hmm. More memory to lose. More problems. Got a farewell. Farewell would be sick. Farewell would be dope. Discard two cards. I will discard a Sunfall and I guess a Leyline Binding. Leyline Binding is good, but it's not like the end all be all. And if they Sunfall my Atraxa, it's like a 1-1. One, one. Get lost, sure. Lockdown? Uh, oh, well, I guess you don't have the option for that. Sure. Four mana, play this. Have three mana held up. Mm hmm. Thing have haste does why what um swamp what am i missing island i guess sure uh play land encounterable then we just fire off on the invasion the evasion comes in and attacking a lot of effort, you know? You can get hit with a get loss, though. That is kind of annoying. Bump. You know they can feel to ruin my Awakened Skyclave? It indeed is a land. But it's a weird thing that they can do. Sure. I like that. I like being able to play my Atraxa into a recruiter for eight, nine, 10, 11. Then have Archangel finish the job after. Populate. So messed up. Honestly, I guess realistically, I should just Atraxa. Uh, let us. Green, blue, white, black, white. Rather not use both. I would, I would like to be able to play this Archangel potentially if I want to. Oh, we can even make this uncounterable. Nice. Um, herd migration is kind of what we're setting up for. Topiary stompers are fine too. Uh, let's grab another cavern. Evasions, like whatever. I'll just let it go to the bottom. And then this one will come in. And this one will name a uh, dino. So I want to play and get as many lands into play as possible as I can here. Dino. I'm looking to basically herd migration, do the thing, play a recruiter, and just pop their entire. Just pop them, you know? Just give them the old one two chop. I'm a 31. I am vulnerable to Jace Mill to an extent. Sunfall, go. I guess I could have kept a Sunfall, but regardless, I would lose because up to being sock will draw me a card off herd migration. So even if I kept out on top to say Jace Mills me for 15, Jace Mills me for 15, and I would have one card. But I guess then I'd have Lethal in play, right? With this like recruiter jam. I guess that's fair. You got for me, opponent. I have a board. It's very scary. Sunfall and two mana. You have another land. Finding? I'm not sure if this saves them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it. I think it kinda does, weirdly enough. That off the board. Just because I can. I have what? 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. Wow, I have enough mana to pay for the counter spell plus like plus play recruiter uncounterably. Yeah, that's wild. Very cool. Very wild. The god opponent can this resolve. Thank you. Um, human again, just in case I mess it up. Green. Like that. This here, here, here. Make the tokens. I have human angel all available. Yeah, I should have double angel and a dino and it, whatever. But we're going to do this. We're going to give them haste and then they concede. Okay. Well, if I had to think of anything against my control opponent, it's very weird. We can just become this like incident speed deck with kind of how this deck's built. And I don't mind that at all. I, I kind of like that's the thing I like to do against control. They're gonna think we're gonna be like really really slow which we are to an extent But I'm just gonna play this flash plan And just be like way more valuable on it I'm gonna cut these sunfalls Um, Because I should be it. I'll keep one in as like a barrel to try to find I guess at times we'll trim we'll trim Trim um this we just don't have to be like that crazy about this game plan, but I do want to I do like playing it into speed against our control opponents where we can flash it in on their end step And like an emperor just making tokens on their end step and they eventually have to answer that is really annoying to deal with And they might not be ready for it because they're gonna be ready for like these kind of cards, right? They're gonna bring in the gates and stuff and counter all this nonsense, but we're definitely keeping here double beanstalk is absurd and we will do that Splunking, kind of whatever. Splunking, honestly, is a card we can trim, but I just enjoy playing Splunking too much. Uh, we'll name Angel here. We'll Beanstalk. This can get countered. If Beanstalk resolves, I'm genuinely surprised, in which I am. Okay. There's Deduce. You're deducing. I'm trying to figure it out. We got opponent. I know, I guess. This resolve? There's no way. Don't let me. Don't. Don't let me. Can't be that easy. It's so complicated. Disruption protocol. You're on that version? That's insane. I hate disruption protocol. It's good. I just hate it. I'm not even sure it's good. I think I just lied to you. Beanstalk. Sure. They say that's fine. Uh huh. Beanstalk's going to be hard enough for them to keep up with. It's kind of what we're hoping for. All right. Just not even going to budge. I'm just going to hold up my ley line binding. We got opponent because even if they emperor right make a 2-2 two -two, I can archangel and shoot it all down That's like the hard part for him a little bit too. They keep the card on top. That's cool. I could besage you their creature land And force him not to keep the card on top I actually don't mind that I'll get rid of this You can get another surveil land, but I'm not letting them keep the card on top. Surveil again. Card on top, good too. They're like, exact same card, didn't matter. <laughs> That'd be really funny, to be honest. Uh, So that's a sorcery. That's actually counterable, weirdly enough.
I will draw two cards though. This is where it gets hard, right? Say they counter this recruiter. I have two draws. And we'll just play this grindy game. Hey, negate. No other land is kind of annoying. But no more human in the deck, so we'll just name Angel again. I don't have a blue mana. Gross. Uncounterable. You can stock draws. Honestly, Recruiter might have been a bit aggressive, but I was looking to draw to find lands that are actually different than Cavern of Souls. What do you got, opponent? This is like, I'm willing to look at the top 12. I'm gonna draw two of them guaranteed, and then I'm gonna look at the rest. Wrong time, the Tidebinder. My attraction is on the stack. Uh huh. You messed that one up a little bit, but you know, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna grab the plan here. Uh, grab the plan. Still no blue. I can grab a blue off this. Well, I have a blue, I guess. Uh, discarding four. Jet mirrors can go. I guess they shouldn't have grabbed. Um. All right. I'm just let spars go too. I'm not sure. I think I'm, I probably just shouldn't have grabbed as many cards. It's so hard when you have beanstalks. So you're like, okay, my hand is good of all good cards. Like, what do I keep? What do I get rid of? Like, Archangel comes down, shoots the tie binder, and hits them. Even though, like... <sighs> Combat? Attack? Land? I still don't have a blue. I just, oh my gosh. I needed to cycle this herd migration, grab a blue. I just keep seeing seven lands. I'm just like, I cast a track, so of course I have a blue. Haha. <laughs> Whatever. I'll pass. I do not care because I cannot counter. Everything's fine. I'm not in pain. You're in pain. Deduce. They're deducing. They're thinking. It's all being deduced. Hey, field rune. This one. You counter it. You probably should. They don't. Hey, you can two do. I have two do. I have cycle and I'm gonna grab a blue source, please. I need this blue source so bad. Do they know that I need this blue source? No! That's fine. Blue. Uh, for the love of God, you, can you see Arena just being like, hey, would you like to tap your blue mana? Just like, no, man. I would, I would like to keep my blue mana, actually. I'm gonna plus here. I'm gonna go combat. That's first strike. Attack. Attack, please. Attack, please. Thank you. Uh huh. That's on dinosaur. Um, this one. I know what I can discard. That's 
I just want those two. I have too many cards. I'm too many cards. Too many. Probably don't have board wipes anymore. We probably could have deduced that a while ago. Two of them are on Angel. Too smart. I could have grabbed another cavern, but again, two of those are on Angel. I have my attracts in play. I'm kind of just chilling. Sure. On another card. I have five cards to deal with my 13. What do we got, opponent? Basic force is probably going to go, by the way. Never mind. Basic planes is going to go. Sure. Um. Doesn't matter, I guess. We'll grab forest. Sure. Pass. Discard a planes and discard a beanstalk. More cards? I'm at 28. Don't really need them anymore. I'm honestly, I'm really close to just being able to Archangel shoot them, Archangel shoot them, and Archangel shoot them. That's absurd. Are we getting my other one? That's tough. I'm losing them all. I'm losing them all. They're going to wait. Okay. Combat. Claire, this is my attacker. I hit. Uh, yeah. Uh, do this one. Uncounterably. I don't know why they didn't blow it up. Especially if they have a counter spell. This one? This one. Straight to the dome. Take a two two. Play land. We must protect the people. Pass. I was gonna invasion, but I can just hold up and negate. We have one more basic in our deck, I think. I think so. I could be wrong, but I think we only have one more basic. We have two more basics. I'm stupid. Don't worry about it. It's all fine. Man, nothing like putting control in a horrible spot. Kind of my favorite activity. Memory deluge. That's fine. Because we have so many win conditions right now in our hand. We just allow this to happen. I know that's a little bit weird to say, but the reason we let this go is because say they have sunfall in the deck they sunfall we negate they counter that our archangel wrath resolves or i lose i don't know there's a lot of options but i think i can one two three four kick for one one two well okay i need 10 mana i have 10 mana I think I can play an angel, kick it for one, let it get countered, and then angel kick it again, let it get countered. And fall. I'll negate. And I have three mana to pay for it. So this has to be another negate of their own. It is. Sure. Now they have three mana. And we're going to do the thing that we said. Faithful Mending's uh, gain two, I think. I turn. Well, drawing that means we have it, so. Uh, four, five, six. This? On God. What a rip off the top. Bonk and bonk. Wow. What a long, grueling game that was. I hope everybody had fun. 
I'm going to the outro now. Um, this took a long time. So <laughs> I'm done for the day. All right. Well, here we are. We have Domain. And Domain has been one of these weird decks where it's kind of evolved as the meta has evolved. And one of the biggest gripes about Domain that I've had in the past, and the reason I think like this deck list isn't very viable in best of one is too many times like in best of one in the way that the curves happen convoke gets under you a little too quick you don't have the sideboard to go grab the four lockdowns so you just have to deal with it but the other main thing is too often do we have to like play an atraxa against like the control meta and stuff and just be like okay we'll pass and they're like sure we'll board wipe we'll remove it we'll get lost it we'll untap and do anything but that's where like recruiter comes in imidane's recruiter here and giving haste we all know this from boris convoke itself but i think we saw multiple times just giving these haste it's just enough sometimes and getting in very quickly and actually winning the game in one turn it's super good and why do we only play one of this if it's so good because we have so many looks. We are deck thinning like mad lads with these eight cards here. You can argue 10, even though this isn't like directly like ripping lands out, but it is drawing extra cards and beanstalks giving us constant looks over and over and over and over again. And then again, the Atraxa looking into the top 10. Every card in our deck besides these ones and Emma Danes pulls a card out of our deck. And you can argue if we have a beanstalk in play, every single card that we play does besides Archangel or Wrath and Imidanes. These are the only five cards, obviously lands or lands, that do not pull another card out of the deck or replace themselves in some way. So you always have five, six cards unless you're getting duress or whatever like that. And then you're generally at the same amount of cards. It doesn't really matter what it goes to because you play land or if you don't have land, you invasion, you rip them out, you know, you pull out two lands. And then Toberry Stomper pulls out a land, which you're not directly replacing them, but it's doing better by putting the land directly on the battlefield. So other than that, Domain in best of three is where it really shines. Domain's actually struggled a lot lately, but since they've been doing this Imidane's Recruiter, it actually did well. This one won a challenge. It went nine and one. And because of the reason I think we talked about where... Too many times Domain just sits there and they kind of stare at each other and do nothing, especially in the mirror, because in the mirror, they do nothing. They just, the plane is literally bringing Jace's and mill each other. Absurd. Like, it is so bad to watch the mirror. Um, outside of that, we have a lot of flash. We have a lot of sideboard options, but it's pretty late. I'm just going to keep rambling. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. So I'm going to call it here. I enjoyed playing Domain. Do I think his deck's good and best of one? No, I think the meta is way too fast and it's so hard for this deck to keep up. And this deck really does thrive in games two and three. And if you're like any mid range or like control deck, this deck crushes you in the first game. But in best of one, the control decks are playing Jace's. They're really this only praise on Golgari for the most part. And if they're not playing against Golgari or Rakdos, I guess. But if you're not really playing those, this deck can kind of come out and just bully you. Not saying it can't draw well and win against other matchups. And if you definitely put the lockdowns in the main and stuff like that, I'm just saying the difference between the level that it can compete at is way higher in best of three than it is in best of one. So outside of that, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.